All right, let's take a look at the first homework problem from Chapter 2 of the FEP Hydraulics. On a USGS contour map, which has a scale of 1 inch equals 2,000 feet, a stream starts at elevation 860. At a scale distance of 0.8 inches, the stream elevation is 836 feet. What is the average stream longitudinal slope in percent to one decimal place? So the first thing we want to think about here is what longitudinal slope means. And remember that longitudinal slope is just that uh, rise over the run, the vertical distance over the horizontal distance, uh, our definition of that that we've been talking about. So if we sketch that out, we're going to start at 860 feet and then make our way all the way down to 836 feet. So we can complete that triangle there and figure out our rise and our run. Our rise here is going to be that difference between 860 to 836. So we do 860 minus 836 and get 24 feet. So that is our rise in this equation. And then to figure out our run, well, we're looking for that horizontal distance. Well, we'll t we're told that it's 0.8 inches, but remember that's scaled. So we've got to take that 0.8 inches and multiply it by that scale factor, which is that there are uh, 2,000 feet in one inch. So we cross those units out and we wind up that 0.8 inches is equal to 1,600 feet. So that becomes our horizontal distance, also known as our run. And we can plug it into the equation here and get our decimal out, which is 0 0.015. Express it as a percent, round to one decimal place, we get 1.5% for the average stream longitudinal slope for that problem.